The Rodecaster Pro is like a game-changing piece of audio equipment that I have totally fallen in love with over the past few months. And it turns out that it's super easy to incorporate it into live streams or video podcasts using OBS, so I wanted to do a quick rundown on how to do that. And this video is not paid or sponsored in any way. I just really like this thing and it's super cool and I wanna show you how to do more cool stuff with it. Rode has a lot of products with similar names. They have the Rode Procaster, the Rodecaster Pro, the Broadcaster, and the Podcaster, and most of those are microphones. For the sake of clarity, I'm talking about the Rodecaster Pro, which is this thing right here, this audio mixer, which is basically an all-in-one audio production unit. So I was toying around with the idea of improving audio on live stream and video podcasts, and I wanted to find a way to incorporate the Rodecaster, and it turns out, I'm gonna bring this microphone over here, that it's actually pretty simple. So I'm gonna switch from the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus to the Rodecaster Pro in three, two, one. There, now my audio is coming straight through the Rodecaster Pro. It should sound a bit better than the VideoMic Pro. And so having audio quality like this in a live stream will really boost your overall production quality. The Rodecaster Pro is a pretty simple plug and play device and I'm using it on a Mac, but this should work the same on Windows. So you shouldn't have any issues. And all you need is a USB-C cable like one end into the Rodecaster and the other into your computer. And then you should see when you open OBS that the Rodecaster Pro now shows up as an audio source. So now I should be able to go over here to my sources, add an audio input source, and we can call this one Rodecaster. And then when we select the device, the Rodecaster Pro automatically shows up and everything that's happening in the Rodecaster Pro is now being directly put into OBS and out on your live stream. So this is really helpful if you just wanna up the overall audio quality of a live stream, but it also makes it really easy to do video podcasts because you don't even have to be live streaming. You can just use the built-in start recording feature of OBS and just record even with camera changes, text changes, graphics, the whole deal, your video podcast, and it's all edited on the fly and it's ready to go as soon as you're done recording, which is great in terms of improving your workflow. And more than just improving your overall audio quality, this now lets you use four XLR inputs plus auxiliary and Bluetooth sources in your live streams or video podcasts, which opens up an entirely new world of audio possibilities, especially because the Rodecaster Pro has Bluetooth connectivity, which makes it very easy to use phone calls as an audio source. And if you're using the Rodecaster Pro in your live stream, it actually means that you can take live phone calls during a live stream, which is really cool and something that was not really easily possible up until this device came out. So you can just get a Google voice number that's totally free and private and you can share that out and you can have people call in to your live stream, to your podcast, whatever it is, and you can interact with your audience in real time through the magic of audio. And to do that on the Rodecaster is actually pretty simple. You just hit the Bluetooth button and then you will see a menu that pops up that lets you pair your phone. And then let me go grab my landline. And yes, I did say landline because I have no cell reception at my house, so we need to still have an old school landline phone. Now I can bring up the Bluetooth channel as an audio source. And then if I use this phone to call myself, now it should ring in here. And on here, on the iPhone, the Rodecaster Pro actually does show up as an audio source. So in theory, I should be listening with headphones and this phone call is going over here. So if I'm over here and I'm like, hey, Tom, what's up? You're like, nothing much, Tom. I'm just talking on my phone on a live stream because it's 2019 and that's a thing that you can do. Like, what? No way. I'm on the landline because it's 1996. Yeah, that sucks. Well, see you later. And then you just put your person off the phone. The Rodecaster Pro is seriously awesome. I made an in-depth overview slash review on it that I think will be helpful if you're kind of on the fence about whether or not to get one. But you should never let a lack of gear stop you from making something. You should look at what you have, pool your resources together, and then be innovative and brilliant in your problem solving of trying to figure out how to make the best stuff you can with what you got right now.